obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. The problem simulates the wind flow through three tall buildings arranged in a triangular shape. In fact, these buildings are considered as barriers. In the present case, the area around the three buildings is considered where the wind enters it horizontally at a velocity of 5 meters per second and collides with the buildings. The purpose of this project is to investigate the behavior of wind flow around buildings after dealing with them and to study the behavior of air in the space between the buildings. The present 3D modeling is carried out using the Design Modeler software. The present model consists of a very large cube-shaped area for free wind flow and three tall buildings with lots of details, which are placed inside this area with a triangular arrangement. Also, the meshing of the model has been done using ANSYS meshing software and the mesh type is unstructured. The cells adjacent to the structures are much smaller and more accurate. Pressure-based simulation has been performed. In the viscous model, the standard K-Epsilon model has been used. That is a two-equation turbulence model that allow the determination of both a turbulent length and time scale by solving two separate transport equations. Uh, the standard K-Epsilon model is in ANSYS Fluent falls within this class of models and has become the workhorse of practical engineering flow calculations in the time since it was proposed. Uh, robustness, economy and uh, reasonable accuracy for a wide range of turbulence flows explain its popularity in industrial flow and heat transfer simulations. Also, it is a semi-empirical model. The standard K-Epsilon model is a model based on model transport equations for the turbulence kinetic energy, K, and its dissipation rate, Epsilon. The model transport equation for K is derived from the exact equation, while the model transport equation for Epsilon was obtained using um, physical reasoning in the uh derivation of the k epsilon model the assumption is that the flow is fully turbulent and the effect of uh, molecular viscosity are negligible the standard k epsilon model is therefore valid only for fully turbulent flows we didn't change anything in the material section and also the default materials are air for the fluid and also the aluminium for the solid bodies. The velocity inlet boundary condition type has been chosen for the velocity inlet condition and also the velocity magnitude is normal to boundary and is equal to 5 meter per second. The boundary condition of the outlet is uh, defined as the pressure outlet and also the gauge pressure is equal to zero that shows that the outlet pressure is equal to the atmospheric pressure. The wall air in the boundary condition section indicates the building walls that are stationary and now slip as we mentioned before. The simple algorithm in the solution methods section uses a relationship between velocity and pressure corrections to enforce mass conservation and to obtain the pressure field. Also, the pressure velocity coupling scheme controls, controls the manner in which pressure and velocity are updated. When the pressure based solver is used, the scheme can be either segregated, like simple, uh, that uh, pressure and velocity are updated uh, separately or coupled that uh, the pressure and velocity are updated simultaneously. Uh, ANSYS Fluent provides the following segregated types of algorithms uh, like simple, simple C, piezo and fractional step or FSM. In general, segregated methods like simple that has been chosen in the CFD simulation are faster per iteration. 
while the couple algorithm usually requires fewer iterations to converge. The number of iteration is equal to 400. I'll uh, just click on the calculate button to start the solution. From the contour section in the graphics under the results section, we can display every desired two dimensional contours and the uh, plane that we are going to display the contours and that the plane three has been defined to show the contours and that. Here we can see the pressure contour, the velocity contour, And also we can see the turbulent kinetic. The velocity vectors shows the large vortexes behind the buildings. A summary of the steps for defining the problem and defining its solution is given in the following tables as a review. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Master CFD services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at signmastercfd.com.